Welcome guys, welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. I do it back in the factory. Let's yeah. see. So this episode will be more of a grind episode, a shorter episode actually. Because we actually have no main goal this episode. But to just get some stuff automated. Yeah. Hmm. This episode we'll be looking to get the modular frames automated. This will take a while. As you can see I already have the requirements to the right of my screen there. It's been for a while before I started recording. I find I sound weird. It was recorded like about 12, 2 o'clock in the morning so yeah obviously I sound weird. So once we get the modular frames automated, we can then look to unlock tier 5 and 6, which is 500 modular frames. So this episode we'd be automating the modular frames, next episode we'll be automating the motors, which would be which means we would have to do over the whole copper area to automate the motors because they take copper on the other side. And I think they also take the pipes, yeah, the steel pipes. We'll find a way to do that. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a very short episode as I said before. Well, not really that short because we have no iron plates in the storage right now, just enough to supply the reinforced iron assembler. <coughs> hmm. Got a cold in my throat right now. A little bit of noise in the background. So what we're going to do, we're going to build out the whole foundation right where we have the steel production. And it's going to be something like what I did with the steel, but I'm going to do more to the side. So for the reinforce, for the um, for the modular frames, we need reinforced iron plates and um, rods. So what I was thinking of doing was pulling the rods from below, but then I changed my mind and we saw that we had enough iron ore being produced, so we are going to make a whole new rod creator solely just for this project. So that's what we're going to do this episode. I just built some foundations. I wasn't going to fast forward this, but it's going to take a while. So let's speed build.
Alright, just add in the final touches, run in the slang for the reinforce and as you may see I had to run up an for to create iron plates because we don't have it automated. Now let's just build a storage container for when for us to store the modular frames. Next episode will probably for well next episode we'll be working on getting the motors automated for the to unlock the five and six. Hello, so we'll be doing some work off camera so you guys would see a change next episode in how the base looks. I may do for this whole area how I planned it out but just uh, just because it's late in the night and the time that I'm recording I can record long enough to actually plan out what this area would look like. What we'd see next episode how I redid the area. Anyway guys. Wow, that took a while. That's a lot of reinforced amplitudes. So I not notice an issue when that's much of the frames coming out there. I notice an issue when I during the speed build. The issue was that we are not producing enough iron plates to keep up with the production of screws. Because right now we have the screws being created separately for each. Um, usually I would have a screw one screw constructor for each for two assemblers but now I have separate so we produce enough screws to fill the assemblers but now we are not producing enough iron plates to fill the assemblers to make reinforced iron plates so probably next episode also we'd be working on kind of making the iron plate production more efficient. Right, wrapping up the episode here guys, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of oh, Satisfactory. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. It's a bit of a short one, but that's how it is. All links in the description below, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video.